Hello everybody. In this video, we will check the challenge about descending orders for numbers. So in this challenge, you will be given a number as an argument and you need to return the given number with its digits in descending orders. So for example here, this number 13868, if this number is provided to you a function, then you should return the digits of this number into descending order. So it should return 88631. Okay, so this is the function I wrote. This is a skeleton for this problem. So here we have this descending order function that will accept a number. So let's write a code for it. So let's before think how should we attempt this particular challenge. So I am planning to make use of the built-in functions that are available in JavaScript, different functions for strings and arrays. If I can think of I can simply recall that we have a sort method available in JavaScript, but that is available for arrays and here we are given a number. Then how should we make use of it? Otherwise we have to write a custom logic. So for problem, problems like this, let's make use of the built-in methods. Now that is the third or fourth part of the puzzle, but first we have a number. So the approach I'm going to take for this problem is first I will convert a number into a string. Then I will convert a string into an array and then that array I will implement. I mean, I will make use of sort method and then let's see how what problems we get and how we should approach to such problems. Okay, so let me write it down quickly. So Let's create a constant output just to see uh, how the output is getting transformed while we write a code for this problem. And I will assign simply a number to it. And I will also see how this output getting transformed. So currently I have simply assigned number to it. So output and number both are same. Okay, so as I mentioned, first I will convert it into a string they still hasn't changed much now as we have string with us we know that in on strings we can uh, we can call the split method so this split method converts the string into an array so i'll go to a new line just to demonstrate it better i'll use dot split if i split it and if I don't provide any argument, then you see the entire number is convert. I mean, the, if we return, we get an array, but the number is at the first index. We don't want the, the entire number in the first index. Instead, we want every character in a separate index of an array. So let's split it with an empty string. Now you see we have one, three, eight, six, eight. Now as I mentioned previously that we have a sort method for arrays and we have somehow reached to a point where we do have array with us. So let's write sort and if you don't provide any argument, we don't see a much difference. It is still not a dis in a descending order. So to convert it into a descending order, let's make use of a comparator function because sort accepts a comparator function where you can write a custom code to determine in which order you want to sort it, the values of an array. I'll create another separate video for sort and the comparator function that we can provide it to a sort method because it's a different topic of discussion and it indeed requires a special separate focus to analyze how the JavaScript has, has implemented the sort method. So let's keep that a topic for another video. But we'll simply uh, remember that you can provide a comparator function that accepts two arguments. Let's name them A and B. And if you do A minus B, then it returns uh, the values in ascending order. And if you do B minus A, then it returns in descending order. 
how we'll check that in separate video let's keep that a topic for future so as you can see we have 88631 similar to what we have to return 88631 but this is not a number this is an array so how to get back a number again so these are the values of an array now we because we have split the string we have created an array we have sorted it now we have to join back to get the string again it, so let's call the join function if you join it without providing any parameter then you will get the comma separated values because we have split it already and this is not a good thing so the thing is if you are splitting it with, a, with some special character in our case a special character is empty string so you have to join it back with an empty string again if you do so you will get the same output but there is a gotcha the gotcha is we have converted a number into a string and we have a string as an output up to this point to prove that point let me make use of type of operator if you check if you after all these operations we are returning a string but we don't want a string we want number so how to do that we have a special unary character uh, we, or, or we can say unary operator if you make use of unary operator plus and then if, in, if, if you check the type of you get the number okay so the best thing is this unary operator will convert a number which is provided to it as a string okay it will convert it into a number so this output I've created just for demonstration purpose so let's simply cut it down also remove this and because till up to this point we don't have a result we have to return something from this function so simply return whatever we did up to this point if you do so so you can see a result of this particular number is correct it's 88631 if you provide this number it seems like a mobile number i don't know if you paste it so as i expected output so if you provide this 90 blah 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 the so output is 998762100 this is indeed in descending order so that's how simple this algorithm was and but it requires different operations because interviewer they basically check how good you are while making use of different methods available for strings for arrays and all those things so i hope you like this implementation and if you do then please help me like share and subscribe to my videos thank you very much and see you in next video bye bye